Hello, this is Dean McDonald from Tech Skills. In this video, I'll describe the process for removing and installing a single edge contact cartridge or SEC processor. Let's go ahead and get started. Since I will be opening computer cases and removing components, I need to make sure I use some sort of anti static protection. In this case, I'll use an anti static wrist strap. Put that on my wrist to make sure that the wrist strap is tight. This is connected to an ESD mat also has a grounding wire that's connected to a grounded outlet. This computer has a Pentium 3 slot 1 SEC cartridge. The SEC cartridge is located on the motherboard behind this fan shroud. Let me remove that. Here's the SEC cartridge. On the SEC cartridge is the heat sink. It doesn't have a fan assembly, it just uses the case fan to take warm air that's inside the case and blow it across the heat sink and across the processor and then eventually outside the back of the case. The SEC cartridges are not manufactured anymore, but you may still find these processors in use in some older Pentium 2, Pentium 3, and the AMD Athlon computers that use the slot 1 or slot A form factor. I'll perform a quick removal of an SEC processor so you can see what that looks like. To remove an SEC cartridge, you generally release or bend the holding tabs away from the processor and then pull the processor out of the socket. So I'll push the tabs out of the way and then I can reach in and pull the processor out, it slides out of the tabs. And this right here is the SEC cartridge. This is the SEC cartridge. Happens to be a Pentium 3. See it says Intel Pentium 3 right there. Inside this plastic cartridge is the processor. The processor is attached to this circuit board. So in there it's sandwiched between the plastic cartridge and this heat sink. So we have the slot 1 form factor of this slot fits inside the slot of the motherboard. Some of these will have a heat sink and fan assembly. This one happens to just have a heat sink. The case fan of the case actually does all the cooling. On the motherboard is the slot one slot. has a plastic shroud around it. This is what holds the processor into place. So to replace the processor, I just line up the fins on the SEC cartridge with the slots on the plastic shroud. And then it should slide into place and then to lock it into place, it should snap into those plastic clips. So the plastic clips right there hold it into place. With the processor back in place, we can put the fan shroud back on. Again, this fan shroud will take warm air from inside the case, and this shroud makes sure that it goes right across the processor and then out the back of the exhaust fan on the back of the case. In this video, I described how to remove and install a single-edge contact SEC cartridge processor like those you would find on a Pentium 2 or Pentium 3 or an AMD Athlon that used the cartridge style processor. Good luck and thanks for watching.